<laughs> All right, now that I've been a reverend about suicide for a while, uh, let's go on to the next one. Hey, Sam, I've been watching you since I was 16, and I'm 22 now. Wow, I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. I've been with my girlfriend for five years. I'm just about to graduate university, and I'm currently in the process of joining the Royal Air Force as an officer in the UK. My girlfriend has made it very clear that if I go down this path, she doesn't see a future for us as she won't be able to deal with the extended periods of time that I'll be away from her, and I completely understand that. But that wasn't me saying I completely understand that. He said that in parentheses. But I feel... (laughs) But I feel like I'm at a place in my life right now where if I don't follow th- the career I've wanted to do since I was a kid, I'll be something, it will be something I'll regret for the rest of my life. So I'm stuck between Big Titty GF, GF, Big Titty GF, who's way out of my league, but I snagged her when she was young, and career prospects that actually excite me. What do I do? Cheers, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, also, if you read this out loud, could you not say my name, please? All right. Just for the record, his name was Cornelius. And he's looking at being the Royal Air Force. So that shouldn't be too hard to narrow down. <laughs> not many Cornelius is walking in there. Um, all right. So let me tell you something. Uh, go for the job, not for the girl. Not in a million years. Okay. Cause let me tell you something. Oh, you're 22 now. I, was, I thought you were still 16. All right, so you're 22 now. Dude. How about this? How about this? I'm going to pull this old card out of the book. Who's making you choose? Is the girl making you choose or is the Air Force making you choose? No, the Air Force is fine with you having a girl and doing Air Force things. The girl's the one that's like, oh, you can't do Air Force and me at the same time. Bitch, I can ride planes and fuck you at the same time. I'm badass. I'm 22. I can do what the fuck I want. If she can't hang with it, then kick her to the curb. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Not only that, but I guarantee you, uh, you know, in 40 years, you're going to look back and be, uh, you're going to say these things. Ready? You're going to look back and go, one of two things. You're going to go, wow. I had the opportunity to become an Air Force pilot for the Royal Air Force, a prestigious group of people. Very few get in, and I was able to fly these uh, these fucking spaceships <laughs> with honor, and I was the best of my class, and I was I was you know guarding nationalism or whatever the fuck I don't know, <laughs> and uh, and I did it with pride, and the people around me respect me for it. Or, on the other hand, if you don't take that career path and you decide to stand with little miss fucking whatever, uh, you could look back and say, wow. I had sex with the opposite sex who make up 50% of the population. In fact, everywhere I look, I see another female just like her. (laughs) So what? You can get another dumb bitch just like her. Like, Go be an Air Force pilot. Get back out of there and tell me walking into a bar, go up to the hottest chick and be like, hey, yeah, I'm a fucking Air Air Force pilot. I fly planes and shit. I'm sure that's pretty easy to pick up chicks with. Wear your little fucking white outfit, uniform with the wings on it and stuff. I keep thinking you're Air Force. You're not. You're Royal Air Force. I don't. Do they have wings and white outfits? It seems like it would be easy to get laid like that. That's all I'm saying. As a guy that buckled himself into a relationship really early, and is still in it. All right. I don't regret anything in my life. I really don't. I think I've turned out awesome. <laughs> I, I'm telling you right now, I am an outlier. Is that how you say that, Stolt? Out, outlier? Outlier? Stolt, please correct me. <laughs> Make me sound smart. <laughs> outlier. Edit this so I sound like a genius. Impossible. I'm, I'm not the norm. My relationship is irregular, right? I would say I wouldn't buckle yourself in and throw away career prospects for some bitch that you know. You know who cares? She, you're probably going to get into a fight in three years. And then she's going to dump you. And then you're going to go, wow, I wish I would have fucking learned how to fly airplanes. I would go go for the job. 